Welcome to MSK Coding. In this video, I will be showing you this Python program that I made. So, this Python program is going to help me to remember the elements of the periodic table and their atomic numbers. So, for a quick overview, we have f equals open elements.txt that will open a text file named elements.txt. Second line, list1 equals list of f. It'll make every item in the list1 one, one of the lines in, in f. Then we have x equals in input of given number between 1 and 118. It'll ask you give a number between 1 and 118. Set that to x. Subtract x. Subtract 1 from x. Then set y to list1 of x. Then print the element with that atomic number is y. So now. We'll go to 1. So, f, the variable f, is open elements.txt in read. So, you're going to have to make a text file called elements.txt. If you don't know where you should put it, you can just do w plus, and that'll create this file if it's not already there. But, since I already made it, I put R for reading. It opens that file and sets it to F. So then we do list one is a list of F. So it takes every line in F, the text file F, to one item in the list list one. Then then it asks you give a number between one and one hundred eighteen. It takes your input and turns it into an integer, which is a whole number. So the reason why it's 118, because as of July 2019, when I'm recording the video, there are only 118 elements in the periodic table. You can add more when they're discovered, but for now, we're only going to be adding 118. So we set the number that you gave to x, then set x to what x was minus 1, like x equals x minus 1. So it subtracts 1 from x, sets that to x. That's what this small thing here does. So then we have y equals list 1 of x. So let's look back at this one. The reason that we did this is because the list indexes start at 0. So the first item in the list is at index 0. Second is at 1. So if we were to do hydrogen, put 1, that would be hydrogen. But if it's the first one, then it has to be 0. If you didn't put this x minus equals 1, it would give you helium when you put 1. So that's why we have this x minus equals 1. So we have y equals list 1 of x. So it calls the first item of x or whatever x minus 1 is and then sets that to y then finally it prints the element with that atomic number is percentage s percentage space in parentheses y so what that'll do is it'll print the element with that atomic number is whatever y is because this percentage means that it's going to be substituted s just means that it's a string now this means that this is what the thing should be substituted for so it'll print the element that atomic number is y so now we should try it out okay so i run the program and it gave me the prompt so now we can put in some stuff maybe five that's the atomic number four boron so if we did this correct it should give us boron see we can do that then next so we can do it again given 118 we can do 118 not ton 118 that also works if you like this program stay tuned for more videos from me bye